What's up guys, Kirsty here from Astral Darts. Today I'm bringing you a brand new review and I'm going to be reviewing the Mission Archon darts. These are Mission's most premium dart and they came out recently as part of the Mission Spring launch. I was sent these by Mission Darts before launch to test out and review, so thank you to Mission for getting these out to me. If you want to see a bit more detail on this review, you can head over to matadordarts.com and uh, we'll have a full written review on the website as well, so make sure you go and check that out. There'll also be some bonus photos that you probably don't see in this video too. So I have the 22 gram version of the Archons. These are 55 millimeters long, so they're quite a long barrel, but they're also six millimeters wide, so uh, very thin as well. They're also 97.5% tungsten, which is the first in Missions range, and also the first, like, there's not many 97.5% tungsten darts out there. So um, yeah, the first in Missions range is 97.5%, and um, yeah, really nice, sleek looking dart. Really intricate patterns done on this. Um, you can have some close-ups as you can see um, on the screen. They come with the short Mission Saber stems and they also come with the Archon flights which have an embossed um, sort of glossy uh, design on there. Uh, and these darts are also black and bronze PVD coated along with the silver smooth section as well. These darts retail for just under 85 pounds which I think for a 97.5% tungsten dart with this kind of detail isn't too bad of a price. Um, personally, for me, I wouldn't be paying £85 for a dart in any case because I'm not that type of person. But if you do like a premium dart and uh, you're a bit of a dart collector, these may be the ones for you. Um, they're pretty nice. And like I say, there's not many 97.5% tungsten darts out there. And I don't think there's many at this price point with this amount of detail either. So pretty decent all round in terms of price, in my opinion. But um, I personally wouldn't um, purchase them for that price. What we're going to do is we're going to get these on the board, show you how they go, and I'm just going to do a little voiceover telling you how they feel in hand and um, how they fly for me personally as a front gripper. So these darts are very long. Um, my match darts, which are the Mission Shaw McDonald darts, are 48.5 long, so these are um, six and a half millimetres longer. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but in terms of darts, that is quite a lot. You can really feel how thin they are in the hand as well, really thin. for me as a front gripper is they're quite difficult to control just because of the length it means you're having to try and guide a lot of that weight that's at the back of the dart through which means there's more sort of um more mass of the dart to try and propel into the board whereas if you're a rear gripper it's probably slightly easier i would say, say these darts are more suited to rear grippers There's some throws from the rear. Oh, that last one was a bit dodgy. Yeah, they are more suited to rear grippers just purely because of the uh, grip texture, but the front grip is pretty grippy. Um, I'd probably give it a level three out of five. Then the rear grip, I'd probably give a four. Um, that probably will go down and wear out. So starts off as a four and a three, but could be, you know, a three and a half, a two and a half, or a three and a two depending on the wear. Overall, I think these darts are really solid. Um, to be fair, for 85 quid for a 97.5% tungsten dart that's really well made in terms of its machining, I don't think you can really complain. Um, for me personally, um, I wouldn't pay 85 pounds, as I've mentioned before. I'm not really the type of person that goes out to like buy really flashy darts barrels. I mean, if they were like the right dimensions for me, the right grip for me, yeah, I'd probably go out and buy them if I like enjoyed throwing them, but unfortunately, they're just not for me. They're too long because um, I normally throw a 48.5 millimeter barrel and these are obviously 55 millimeters. So for me, I wouldn't buy them. If you do get them and they work really well for you and you want to get a spare set or something and they're 85 quid, um, don't let anyone say like, oh, well, you spend 85 quid on darts, they're not going to make you any better. Darts are about how comfortable you are. And if you're comfortable with these darts, then absolutely go ahead and buy them. And yeah, for 85 pounds, I don't think you can go too wrong if you do like that premium range. But yeah, guys, that is it for now. I hope you've enjoyed. This video has been a little bit different in terms of its structure, in terms of my old reviews. I'm just trying to get sort of reviews out there now. 
um, and just give you the content and the context that you need for the darts. I'm not going to go too over the top with anything. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you go and head over to the website www.matadordarts.com. Go to the blog section and you'll find a written review of these Archon darts. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you do leave it a like as well because it helps push it to people who aren't subscribed to my channel. Leave a comment as well if you've used these darts or if you're thinking of using these darts. And yeah, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.